Hi, welcome to this episode. My name is Shafarina Farisa Binti Sateria. Hello, my name is Ruralina Binti Muhammad Shauki. Today, we will explain about the differences between anisotropic and isotropic. Come on, let's watch together. Isotropy? Mm, what is isotropy? Isotropy comes from the Greek words iso, which defined as equal, and tropos or tropicos, which defined as directions. On the other hand, the prefix and implies the different meaning from the root words. So, the anisotropic is the polar opposite of isotropy. Isotropy refers to the properties of material which is independent of the crystallographic directions, while anisotropy refers to the properties of material which is crystallographic direction dependent. Mm. Want to know more? Let's take a look at the examples. Tada! I give you this tree for an example. And the woods. Why woods? So if you look at the surface of woods, each surface acts differently when we apply any force or any loads on different axes. So if you apply on X or Y or Z, it will give different results. So let me explain. Here, I draw line X, Y and Z axis. As we know, wood has different texture, green, figure, weight, and hardness at different axes or we can say direction. One of the exemplary application of anisotropic material is focus on composite. So let us focus on the Z, X, and Y texture. They are all different. So if we were to apply any force to the Y axis, it will not come out the same as Z or X. So um, the result is X not equal to Y and not equal to Z. So we call that anisotropy. Ta-da! Ta-da! The example of isotropy material are glass and metal. Isotropy in the class mean equal properties of the class along all directions or exist. Hence, the property being measured does not vary in different directions. Let's say, if we want to measure the properties of the class in these three different directions, the measurement obtained from the three different directions will be, will be equal as there is no change in the properties of the class. Glass is one of the examples of isotropy material due to its amorphous nature. This is because the particles in the glass are not arranged in any regular pattern and they have short range order. As we can see in the picture, the particle of the amorphous solid is in irregular shapes. Anyway guys, that's all for today. We do hope that this few examples and explanation will help you to improve your understanding and differentiate between anisotropic and isotropic. We do hope that we can share more infos and knowledge about chemistry in future. So before that, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to this channel. That's all. Thank you and take care everyone. Bye! <coughs> Want to know more? Let's take a look at the examples. Oh, ya Allah, soalnya. <laughs> Sabar, kita buat dua. Apa nak? Zero. My camera is moving. Help. These are the few examples. Sorry. Bye.